We're going to run through a tutorial on using Excel to solve differential equations. Visit the optimization course, go down to uh, dynamic optimization, and then you'll see the course notes on dynamic optimization there. So let's go ahead and go through the derivation of what we're going to program into Excel. And this is going to be a dynamic solution with Euler's method. So Euler's method is simple to program, and we're going to apply that to a differential equation that's referred to as the exponential decay. And uh, let me go ahead and show you the analytical solution as well. So you have the differential form and then the analytical solution as well. And we're going to compare the accuracy of our discretized model with Euler's method to the analytical solution. Okay, so I'm going to make this approximation. This is Euler's method that um, the derivative is approximately the difference between the two. And uh, we're going to solve for x1. So we're just going to rearrange this equation and solve for x1, multiply over by the time difference, and then add x0. And we'll do that for the second point as well, all the way down to the nth point. So this uh, will apply to all of the time steps into the future. This is a backwards difference formula. So I'm going to have a column of time and a column of x. I need an initial condition that's required to specify, and then all of the other values can be calculated. So let's switch over to Excel now. We are going to solve this differential equation. We'll also try to fit an unknown parameter to the data. So let me go ahead and just write our equation up top there. And then we'll have an actual k and then also a guess k. The actual k will be just a little bit different. We'll see if we can solve for the, uh, the actual k. Okay, so we're going to have our predicted x here. And I'm going to program in Euler's method. First one, I'm just going to specify as an initial condition. And the next ones are going to be calculated based on the time difference and the prior x value and the k value. Okay, so let me go ahead and program that in the time difference and add the prior x value. And then what I can do in Excel is just go ahead and fill that down. And it will calculate my exponential decay out to 20, a time of 20. Okay, now we're also going to have a, a y value here. This is going to be our actual value or measured value. And uh, that's going to have the 0 0.08 uh, k value. And then the question is, how can we make these two align or match up? And so what we're going to use is optimization. We're going to have an error function or a squared error, sum of squared errors, and we're going to try to minimize that. Okay, so we're going to sum up all of our squared errors. We'll minimize that with a solver or by trial and error. And uh, by adjusting, we'll change the k value in our predicted function. Okay, so that's what we'll use to adjust to minimize the sum of squared errors. Now our actual k value is 0 0.08. And our guess value that we're going to start with is 0 0.05. So let's go ahead and program this next column over, our actual x, or y in that other sheet. Now here's the analytical solution that we had from, from before. And uh, let's go ahead and just program in the analytical solution with the actual k value. So this is our real, our true solution or measured values, something that we're going to try to fit to. Okay, so the blue line above, that is the predicted. And the orange one below, that is the actual that we're going to try to fit. And so let me go in and just change the value of k now and uh, see if I can just get my blue line to shift down. Okay, so uh, you can see that it moved up and down. Now I'm going to have my, my sum of squared errors. And uh, just go ahead and sum that up, that column. And then we're going to try to minimize that. I'll go ahead and use solver now. Um, and uh, try to minimize this D5 by changing the K value. And then you can see that the two line up. So let me, let's go ahead and make an outlier now. Let's say there's a bad data point, a value of 10. You can see a very large sum of squared errors. It shifts the whole thing up. One of the things I like to do is use the absolute error instead of the sum of squared errors. And then you'll see here that it does, outliers don't affect the solution. OK, so that uh, finishes this tutorial. Dynamic processes and the differential equations that describe them are found in many places, math, science, business, engineering. We're going to go through four examples here, one in Excel, another one in MATLAB, yet another one in AP Monitor Modeling Language, that's with the MATLAB toolbox, and then 
again in AP Monitor with the Python toolbox. We'll not only solve these equations, but also show how to do dynamic parameter estimation or dynamic optimization.